Thanks for tuning into the Finance News Network. I'm Jessica Ramir. Joining us again today from medicinal cannabis provider Creso Pharma is its Chief Operating Officer, John Grease. Hi, John, and welcome back. And thanks for joining us from Southern California. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. First up, can you tell us, John, about your progress since we last spoke back in September? A lot of excitement at Creso Pharma in the last couple of months. Um, I think the biggest thing for us is that we're seeing revenues continue to climb. Um, you know, our partners are re-upping their orders, demand is increasing, and we've expanded distribution across Europe. You know, we're very focused on innovation. Our new product pipeline is is taking a lot of energy and uh, is developing really well. So uh, a lot of focus on new products and innovation. Now, can you tell us about Health Canada's approval for your facility in Nova Scotia? The facility that we built in Nova Scotia is state of the art ground up build, you know, it was in a, a green field space in uh, Windsor, Nova Scotia. Um, and, uh, you know, we've invested a ton of money in this facility. It's a wholly owned operation. Um, and it's, uh, it's virtually complete right now. We've uh, submitted our application to Health Canada, which is a big step in the process, complete with video footage of the facility, which is the method by which they approve uh, licensees. Um, and we're expecting to see the uh, uh, approval any day now. Uh, I don't know whether you're aware, but there's a huge store shortage of, of cannabis in, across Canada broadly. Um, and so uh, we're expecting to be expedited in the licensing process. And now can you tell us about the Global Centre for Edible Cannabis Research? Yeah, we're really excited uh, about this Centre of, of Edible Cannabis Research and Development for Cresso Pharma. It um, will be built out in our uh, Mernova facility in Nova Scotia. And we believe that it really emphasises our focus on edible cannabis going forward. I mean, if you think about it, our core products are really edible products. Cresso Pharma brings a, uh, a pharmaceutical rigor to the uh, nutraceutical and food supplement um, edible cannabis category. And, uh, and we think that that's where we're gonna establish our niche in, uh, in the cannabis space. Yeah, we'll have cultivation in Colombia and Israel and, and Canada. Now, can you tell us about the extension to your agreement with Veerbac? We already have an agreement with Veerbac today and they distribute our Anabidol product throughout a few countries in Europe. Well, that uh, agreement was just extended and expanded to include 15 more countries, 14 in, uh, in Europe uh, and the Middle East, as well as uh, Colombia. So that will be kicking in very shortly. And you mentioned Colombia. Now, can you tell us about your growth in both Colombia and Brazil? Brazil is uh, was an expansion of our distribution uh, with a, a partner located in Brazil for our Canaquix product. So we expect that uh, uh, Canaquix will get a, gain a foothold in Brazil and start uh, uh, meeting medical cannabis needs there with that CBD product. And uh, and then as far as the Colombian acquisition goes, we've just uh, closed out that acquisition uh, recently. Um, the Colombian uh, operation has five unique uh, licenses. We're in the process of registering our genetics and applying for our quota and expect to be in, uh, in full swing uh, midway through next year. Now to your product and development pipeline. Just tell us about your latest product additions and the market response. Cresso Pharma is going to differentiate itself based on its, its unique and innovative products. And uh, we uh, have a number of products that are hitting the market over the course of the next uh, couple of months. Uh, we have actually for the unregulated markets, a, uh, a hemp oil product called Canapeel that uh, uh, does not contain CBD, but actually is a great introduction to the Canaquix brand in some of these unregulated cannabis markets. Um, as well as uh, Canadol, which is a, uh, a topical ointment that contains CBD and, and can help with athletic uh, uh, pain and, uh, and stiffness. So those are two items that uh, we're really excited by. We have a number of other items that I, I can't share right now that I think are gonna be very innovative and, uh, and exciting for the marketplace and will hit, uh, hit the ground early in the new year. And just lastly, John, before we run out of time, is there anything else that you'd like to add? 
You know, only that we're really excited right now, and there's a lot of things going on at Cresso Pharma, uh, very positive things. We're seeing revenues grow. You know, our partners, uh, our, our current partners are re-upping and expanding their distribution, so we're really excited by that. And we haven't even scratched the surface on dried flour as yet. As I mentioned, our Nova Scotia facility will be operational early in the new year. And we're already closing in on commitments uh, for, for supply um, out of that facility. So we'll be generating revenue um, early in the new year from Nova Scotia. And shortly behind that, Columbia will follow. Wonderful. John Grace, thanks so much for the update and congratulations on all your progress. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.